What's up everyone? Steven Harrell, Tiny House Listings. Gabe Gentile. We're gonna do a quick second round, walk around tour of the factory. Nonchalant, facility. you know. It'll be real easy, informal. Um, but uh, you know, obviously we'll start in the back and the front because it kind of works out that way, the way of production. These are all our cabinets we just ordered. Um, we're doing RTA flat packs, just kind of save some, some uh, saves the customer a little bit of money. You know, because they don't come assembled, we assemble them here, we glue them and screw them and nail them together, and then they go in the house. Not only that, much higher quality. Much higher quality. Much, much. Better, fin see. better finishes. Yeah. Uh, we actually have more finishes to show you, uh, you know, on another video. But the overall idea of this video is just to kind of give you a quick idea yeah. to show what yeah. we're up to. So, um. so right now, we got some trailers on order. So we're a little barren here, but we got these new models we're working on. We got this one with the, you know, the two A-frame roof. We got a nice steep eight pitch there on the back, and in the front we got like a nice two and a half pitch. Give you a little bit more room in the loft. Actually, it's the same model we've always had, the model tiny. Same model. Similar floor plan, uh, but we've just really, for the most part, changed Change, the roof yeah. line. So, um, we could go take a sneak peek in there if you guys want. You can also take a look at my camper if you like <laughs> that I'm building for myself. That's the. <laughs> Very small camper, but if this actually turns out and ends up being a hit, we might end up offering that to our customers. So, we'll see. Come right here and look on the back side right here. Huge, huge windows. The windows aren't in yet on this one. Uh, you'll see in a second, the one in front of it actually does have the windows in, but these are, what are these, Gabe? Five by four? Five by four picture windows. Five by four picture windows. Tempered so, glass. Tempered glass. So these will be nice, because you can. if you come out on the other side over here, you can see, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> So when you're in the bedroom area, basically you're gonna have a un, you know, uh, you're gonna have unobstructed an view. unobstructed 180 degree view of the your neighbor or your uh, <laughs> or the the woods you're living in, the surrounding the, scenic yeah. landscape. <laughs> uh, but if you look over here too, we have it's gonna be the first tiny house we built with the slider door, six foot slider door. I know it's actually a, it's a double French door. Double French door. Double sorry. French door. Yeah. yeah so, so they'll both be operable. One will be fixed the whole time if you want, um, and then. Yeah, they have a, it's actually over here if you want to take a look at it. It's got a, nice, a lot of a lot of nice natural light coming in on the whole front side of the trailer. And um, then, oh, sorry, go ahead. No, go ahead, man. Yeah, but if you look at the the, the pitch up here, this is such a high pitch on this one. Uh, is one and a half pitch or two? About two. About a two pitch. There's going to be enough room in the loft to actually sleep. Although that's up to you because it won't have an egress window. Um, but there'll be additional sleeping space if you want. Yeah. So over here on the right. We got our door, which is two full full light glass doors that'll open in on the right, and then they'll both open, but you can leave one fixed the whole time if you want. But here's a 24 footer in front of it. The one we just showed you is 28 feet, so you can get a really good idea of what this will look like once the windows are in. Um, then if you look up on the roof right there, we did that to where we kind of made a little adjustment there to where the wind, the water will rain, will, sorry. The water yeah. will shed away from the door, it won't be raining right on you. Uh, we're gonna do something similar over here. We haven't really decided yet what we're gonna do, but this one you can see, if you look up at the roof, the water will come to the left side of your door. So you're not really getting pelted with water when you walk in. Um, also, you can see these two picture windows are actually in, and um, we're just getting ready to paint them and glaze them in, and they'll be weatherproof, and the, we got a nice little ledge that the water will fall right off, so you're not worried about water sitting on your window or anything like that. And we use some locally milled cypress on the front here. Oh yeah, that's nice. Nice touch right here, cypress wood. Should we step up inside real quick? Yeah, go ahead, man. All right, yep, let's do it. But if you come out of it this way, you'll see, well, yeah, I'll tell you, here's a loft above. This one has a lot more room than the typical lofts that we build. You can actually put your head on that end and sleep down here if you decided if that's what you wanted to do. But if you look at the roof line up here, you can tell it's kind of interesting. Looking. Yeah, yeah. So you you know you know because it's not legally sleeping loft because there's no egress window. You could throw somebody up there for a quick night if you wanted to. There is flooring up there. Uh, it's not just a plywood storage loft like we did before. And then actually, when you come back over this way and turn around, you'll see this wall we actually left raw as a nice feature wall and that's where the mini split is to heat and cool the building. So you got the raw uh, shiplap ceiling going into that nice feature wall with the big picture window. And you can see we got the two picture windows right here. Yeah, just imagine having your bed here. <laughs> having your bed here and you can look yeah. out, see everything from there. So right, look even nice. over here we got the double operable window. And then over here, you know, to our right, we have the sink window. 
Um, this one's gonna get some of those new cabinets that we saw in the back. And this one's actually gonna get a nice big pantry here, upper there, fridge below it. Uh, so, so similar to the layout of, it is the same layout as our Model Tiny, just different roof line, kind of give it a more interesting look. And bigger windows. Bigger windows, that's another thing. Yeah. And Bathroom then, layout's the same. Same thing. Same thing. But speaking of same, but opposite, we'll take you to the Overlook. <laughs> yeah. It's a whole new model that's coming out. We've already had a lot of interest in this one because we've been kind of plugging it on social media. This one's a totally different look in the Overlook. That was Gabe's idea. Gabe, do you mind telling them what we call it the Overlook? Do you mind telling them? We call it the Overlook because you can obviously see here we got a we got a hanging we, we got a sleeping loft hanging off the back, and we got these nice four by four supporting it going down hitting the trailer. So you got no problems with sag or anything like that. It's 100% supported. It's framed. It's framed back into there. It's got supports every which way. Um, we're actually you know it's got enough weight. We're actually gonna you know put some swings in there. We'll have a nice LED light above the window, and then. When we get inside, we'll actually, <coughs> excuse me, when we get inside, we'll show you why we did it like this, and we'll explain a little bit why we're doing it. What size is this window right here, Gabe? Two by six? That's a two by six window. Tempered? Tempered glass. Same as the other picture windows, just a different size. And then the upper window will be a four by three slider. So it'll, it will be a legit egress window for sleeping. Um, but if you come in here, this one's gonna have like a totally different layout. And we got guys getting ready to put the cabinets together and we'll show you. But if you look over, we'll go to the picture window first. So our idea is if you really wanted to, you could have one person sleep up top and then have a nice desk, a nice uh, couch there, a little love seat, and you could have a desk that goes the whole way across the window. So when you're sitting there eating, doing homework, uh, reading a book or whatever, you're looking out at your view and you can either have that. So you're, it will double as a nightstand for the couch and then, if you really wanted to, you could do a bed here, so it would sleep two to three people. So you could have a bed here, and then have little steps to get up there, and then you could have another, another sleeping. It'll fit a, a twin bed. An alternate use would be if you want to have a couch, multiple chairs here, right. and then have this as your solo, your only yeah. sleeping area too. Right. So it's kind of you got options. Yeah. So you know, up top we did a switch. You know, you'll have a nice sconce up there. There's a couple outlets up there. They're going to be a little, you know, the nice new ones with the USBs. So you'll be able to charge all your accessories and stuff like that up there. Definitely. And then if you come back this way and turn around, you can see this one also has two different roof lines also. Um, you know, we got the, the high A-frame here, and then we did like a nice shed roof style on the back, kind of mixing up a little bit. Um, but if you look where Steven is right now, the washer and dryer is gonna go where he is. And then to the right of that is gonna be a cabinet. And then we're gonna have another pantry that's, uh, I think it's a 90 inch pantry. Yep. And the water heater is actually gonna be in that one. So tucked away on the bottom. So you still have the whole top 70 something inches for storage. And then on the left side, opposite of Steven, we're gonna have the sink over the window. We'll have another cabinet. And then you'll have a apartment size fridge, like in the model tinies here. And uh, there'll be an upper and stuff like that over there. And then the bathroom, if you come in the bathroom, I'll, let, I'll just talk while you walk in there. We got the nice new tiled shower uh, with the shiplap going above it. And then right in front, out the window, you'll have a nice, um, I think like a 16 or 18 inch uh, vanity. And then you'll be able to look out your window and then to the right, obviously, you'll have your toilet. Um, and uh, this one, the mini splits on this side, so it hits most of the main area. Um, but we really like this model. It's what do you say? If you're someone that needs additional sleeping, exactly. And if you've been kind yeah. of holding off, you want a smaller house, but you got additional sleeping, and uh, you want something that's certified, you can finance. Like this is definitely the way to go. This one will sell really fast. Not to try to tell, sell too salesy, no. But it will. But just email us at build at tinyhouselistings.com. Get more information on it. But uh, what yeah. you say, a week or two, we'll have a full tour of it. Yeah, about a week. Really, about a week from now, we'll yeah. be fully done with it, and so you can get more information. Yeah. But that was it. What do you think? This. I mean, I mean, to add to that too, this is the you know this is the byproduct of people saying I want a small 20 footer yeah. with an extra sleeping area, and then they want the washer and dryer in here. So this is kind of what the people wanted, and we delivered it. So. That's it. Yeah, and that's just a quick warehouse tour show what we're up to. We're actually going to start building. Should we tell them now? Yeah, go ahead. Why 32 not? by 10 tiny houses, full size, like major, you know, double sleeping areas as well. So if you're someone that needs something even bigger, we're noticing a lot of families are downsizing, not just single people or couples. We're noticing families as well. So yeah. we kind of wanted to 
provide a solution for those types of people as well, or people who just want a lot more square footage. But uh, we'll have more information on that too. Coming yeah, soon. we're gonna do some cool things with that one. It's gonna be, it's massive. <laughs> All right, y'all. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video. <laughs>